Okay. <laughs> Yo, what's up? This is Lucar Sharona, and we're going to react to Capcom. Yeah. Yep. So this is the second last day of E3. What else I could say? Um. Hopefully, I'm not trying to chow too much of so many reactions. It just so happens that E3 has a lot to react to. Some great, some not, but hopefully, Capcom has something good in store. The new Marvel's Capcom game? Mega Man? DLC for any of their spying games? I have no idea, but I am looking forward to see what they have in store. And if you probably could guess, I'm most excited for Nintendo Direct tomorrow. So, we'll be waiting. And according to my head to the computer, the Mac, it says 5.30 p.m. And it's not, I'm still fast, it's still faster than the initial time, so like, what can you do? I'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully, <laughs> oh man, I really don't have any much to say about. If I had a live chat, then I probably could do a conversation to keep this wedding interesting. But I don't, so <sighs> what you gotta do? And we're not a big, <laughs> not a big channel, so uh, not a lot of the people have watched. So yeah, oh here we go. E10 and M rated, of course. Capcom. It's probably one of the only few copies I noticed that has kept their logo the same. Right now, shiny. Well, that sequence was shiny. Welcome to the Capcom E3 showcase. I'm your host, Rachel Cuerico, <laughs> a.k.a. Seltzer, and I'll be your guide as we walk right. through the latest releases, news, and updates from Capcom. Sweet. We'll hear from the Resident Evil Village team, share some news from the world of Monster Hunter, hmm. and get the latest on Ace Attorney. Then hmm. we'll wrap up with some updates from our friends yeah. at Capcom Fighters. So what are we Capcom waiting for? Fighters. Let's get started. Is that a mobile our game? Our first stop today, Resident oh, Evil Village. Okay. The Resident Evil franchise continues <laughs> to pioneer the latest and greatest yep. in survival horror. The team has been blown away by the response to Resident Evil Village, which launched last month. Yeah. It brought the world another chapter in this decades-long story as the franchise awesome. celebrates its 25th anniversary this year. I'm Yay. honored to be able to introduce Tsuyoshi Kanda, producer on Resident Evil Village, with All a right. special message for the fans. Well, that should be good here. <laughs> another time. Oh, uh, Josh. <laughs> they... they would chat. <laughs> A lot of people have been sipping over her. There's nothing to fear. Where's Rose? Oh. She's everything to me. Oh man. I think it's time you left things in my hands. Oh, I wonder Go what's on. going on. Oh, okay. Ugh. <laughs> so. Uh. Yeah, yeah, it's actually technically Resident Evil. Hi, everyone. 8, My name is Tsuyoshi. But they kind of cleverly hide it under. This opportunity to thank everyone who trade <laughs> since we launched the game in May. <laughs> we hope you are enjoying this new chapter in survival horror. Woo. As a reminder, everyone who purchases Resident Evil mm -hmm. Village will gain free access to our online multiplayer title, Resident Evil R Reverse. Oh. Players go head to head okay. with their favorite Resident Evil heroes and bioweapons. Oh gosh. I'm happy to announce that Resident Evil R Reverse <laughs> will go live next month. Oh, look at that. I didn't know there was a... Oh, what the heck? Head into the fray to celebrate the what Resident Evil happened to her? anniversary. That's cool. Bye now. <laughs> By popular demand, development has started on additional DLC for Resident Evil Village. More info later. Aw oh, man, I really don't know what it is. Thank you, Kanda-san, for that wonderful update. Mm -hmm. Next up, some long-awaited news from the world of Monster Hunter. 
Oh. Whether it's adventuring alongside monsters or battling them with friends, cool. we've got something for you. First, let's oh, dive into stories. the brand new story-based RPG entry to the series, Monster Hunter Stories 2, Wings of okay. Ruin. Let's see. Ooh, oh, gosh, flashy. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, of course, because it's for the Nintendo Switch. Oof. Oh, no, something emotional happened. <laughs> this was uh. his fate. Rathlos. Red may have been mm -hmm. strong and skilled, but against the awesome power okay. of nature, he was merely a man. He never stood a chance. Oh dear. All around things just kept getting worse. But I heard mm -hmm. that Guardian Ratha had survived and returned to Hecolo Island. Mm -hmm. I went there to see Red's old monster again. Then, of course, that's when I met you. Huh. You mean, uh, Protag? You were given Red's kinship stone, and now a Rathalos egg. This is huh. destiny. Yeah, it is cool. Oh, no. Oh, sorry. This is the oh, look at him. Look at the little guy. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> oh. Said that a beat of its wings Forge bond. destruction. Many people believe... Whoa, be shocked. The strange happenings and the wings of Ooh. Are those Rathalos flying? Appearing everywhere. And they're emitting a strange light. Oh, no. Ooh. Cards. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Team up. Oh, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Shred up a little bit. <laughs> kinship with monsters. Uh. How do you control them? It's not mm. about control. Monsters help riders of their own will. Forge bond. The bonds Work together. Monsters and riders are just uh -huh. like your bond with Sukina. Yep. The power of friendship with monsters. <laughs> what kind of power does Ratha really have? Ooh. Why are all of these pits appearing? And who are those people who want to take Ratha for themselves? All I have are questions. Oh, no. If there's worry or doubt in your voice, Ratha will become anxious too. Oh dear. He needs to know that you will protect him no matter what. I can sense the flames of his life huh. force weakening. Oh no, the that's not good. Such great power is too much for his body to bear. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that. A voice. Ooh. Can you hear it? Mm -hmm. Riders can bond with monsters. Can you bond with other monsters, human. monsters, not just a Rathalos? They have the power uh -huh. of kinship. They're friends. They're monsters. Yeah. They carry the strength <laughs> of everyone they meet. That makes them oh. strong. <laughs> My friends here taught me that. Mm -hmm. I believe in the strength of humanity. Yeah. Oh, what the heck is going on here? Hmm? Monster Hunter Story 2 Wings of Ruin. <laughs> uh, that's, that's cool, I guess. Future uh, free title updates. Wait, what? Doggy! I'm sorry, I don't know what it is called. I just see it as a dog. Right of a dog. Good boy. <laughs> you monster. Oh, moot. Cool. Trial version available. Transfer your save data to the full game. Cool. So, wait, it's like a demo? Yeah. If so, then um, I might consider downloading a demo then. Of course, we all know about this. July 9th, so it's not too far. Looks pretty epic, right? And how uh -huh. about that announcement? 
Yeah. The canine companion Palamute from Monster Hunter Rise will okay. be joining Monster Hunter Stories 2 as one of the new Monsties in the first free Ooh, title update coming sorry. soon after the game's release. <sighs> you can get an early peek at the game with the Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin trial version Ooh. starting on June 25th, which sorry, also carries your progress over to the full game release Ooh. just a few Ooh. weeks later on July 9th. That's not the only way to join the hunt. Millions of yeah, you made Monster Hunter happen. Rise a huge success earlier this year. Oh, of course. And we have even we'll more content coming, including oh. a new collaboration on the Rise. Let's find out Sweet. more. Sweet. Wait, collaboration? So, like, crossover collaboration? Is that what's going on? Let's go. All right. Let's see what's going on here. This is for my fellow hunters. Coming <sighs> in June slash July. Oh, okay, so, okay, I was, exp okay, it's that kind of collaboration, so you have content crossover between, yep, there, there we go, <laughs> that's cute, oh, and then uh, armor, it's relating to the stories, okay, <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> David. <laughs> Wait, this is a... okay. That's pretty cool. Monster Hunter Rise. Oh, okay. So, wait. So this means okay. I don't know what's going on in the woods. So, like more monsters being added or uh, techniques. I don't know. I don't... Okay, some new armor just to. <laughs> Shadow Shades Festival Sets Okay, these are pretty cute Oh, okay that, Some of this stuff are actually pretty cute It's up the little penguin I don't know if they changed the Give it a different name, but that's <laughs> Okay, that's pretty cute <laughs> There's some fun events going on Yeah, that's such a pretty fun Available now there has never been a better time to be a Monster Hunter fan. With all the Ooh. new updates to Monster Hunter Rise and the launch of Monster Hunter Stories 2 this summer, we can't wait to Three, hear about four. your own stories of adventure. Well, that's not the only thing Capcom has in store for us this July. Okay. Fans of Phoenix Wright will have new chapters oh, yeah. to explore with the release of the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Oh, North cool. American and European future so, uh, attorneys this is like, uh, will finally be able to get their hands on the Great Ace Attorney Adventures and the Great Ace Attorney 2 Resolve, which were previously only available in Japan. Huh. You'll travel oh, back okay. in time so to this... the late 19th century Japan and okay. London to play as Ryunosuke yeah, this is different. Naruhoto, Phoenix Wright's ancestor, in this action-packed <laughs> prequel. Now, let's okay. more about the story. Okay, that's such a... <laughs> that's fascinating. Uh -oh. Welcome to the ah. center of the world, Great Britain's mighty capital, London. This country <laughs> is incredible. I will Ooh, become a lawyer. That's such a really to. interesting. Give it a whole, basically so, your a whole new cast. And discover what events led to this curious murder. Oh Who dear. Are you? Herlock shows. You must have heard of me. <laughs> you must solve this case, Naruhodo-san. That is engaged in the art of deduction, Mr. Narrow. <laughs> it's Sherlock Holmes, but not Sherlock Holmes. He's because he's Sholmes. Apparently. It seems the truth is now tantalizingly close. That's interesting. Oh, uh, something familiar. <laughs> is he drunk? Objection. Your testimony completely contradicts the facts. <laughs> oh, something doesn't ever change. <laughs> My lord, with all due respect, this uh, is of course. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> nice. You're the best lawyer in the world. At the time. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Oh, no, so for the Xbox players, that's too bad. And eight mini escapades where you can take on the role of a defense attorney. Mm -hmm. 
Now, we all want to see some gameplay, right? Let's take a closer first look at two gameplay features new to the franchise in the great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Fast Dance new. of Deduction and Summation Examination. <laughs> Hello, yeah, yeah, I'm Jonathan, young. Capcom's marketing brand manager for the great Ace Attorney Chronicles. So this My is dog is barking right now. I'm not sure if we can hear it, but he's barking. I think he's expecting my sister and to come home from work. <laughs> to present two new gameplay features, Dance of Deduction and Summation Examination, Ooh. coming to the Ace Attorney series. Mm, familiar elements. That's cool. Cool need. Yeah. While investigating to prove your huh. client's innocence. Players will come across conspicuous situations that require further examination <laughs> with the help of Rinosuke's oh. legal aid, Suzato, and the brilliance of deduction <laughs> from Detective Herlock. There's a... Oh. What are you doing with that thing in your hand? You look suspicious. See, there's nobody but me Herlock in this cabin. To present his well, logic then. And why are you about to see where I live at? Through identity. Instead of a villain. So, dude is looking Russian. Mr. Roy Lot obviously has. Uh, I can't read that fast. Zed, you know, there's a pair of shears in your hand. You were on the verge of using the shears to cut away at the. Uh, I can't really read that fast. They're reading pretty fast. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's just. Yeah, well, doubt this is definitely a story-driven, a story-driven game, and you can't just skip through. They're very important, so not just for a plot, but also like, you, you, you have to keep an eye out for any final information, or else you won't be able to win the game. Ryunosuke and Susato will then discuss yeah, right. to correct the flaws in Herlock's deduction. Mm. Okay, picture, uh, At this point, players will be he's prompted going to, to cut search off for his clues beard. to help identify the he's errors in the detective's logic else. and reveal the truth yes, to the mystery. Look into this from fresh perspective and try to... Hmm. Okay, <laughs> you guys just imagine. Players present new evidence and observations. Oh man, you gotta imagine you're like, hey, what are you doing? Why are you looking at me like that? Upon huh? uncovering the truth, we were using to using sheer to cut away a golden lock. Metaphorical, semi-literal dance yeah, that brings them to the conclusion of the dance of exposed. Well, the hair does not an old man. You're not a man at all. You're a woman, judging from the length and sheer of your hair. Until... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> if only I had managed to cut off my hair. <laughs> no one would have suspected. Who do you want to do with the true name? Yes, because... You... Are you... What are you guys doing with those poses? <laughs> Oh. Er, uh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fascinating. Players will attempt to convince six jurors of the innocence of their client. Their progress mm -hmm. will be displayed and represented by two scales of justice. One black, representing a guilty verdict, and one white, representing a not guilty verdict. Huh. Objection! Summation, examination, <laughs> Objection! Objection! Tax is even old. Given an old All time of them look. Provide too. explanations as to why they've reached their <laughs> guilty verdict. <laughs> I trust the driver. He has an excellent memory. It seems four passengers were faced to complete pieces. You'll have to identify conflicting statements and sway the jury in your favor. Hmm. Examine each statement carefully and select two contradicting Jeez, jurors you to call out the Stop that the thing! Hmm. Objection! Oh, and, and something familiar. 
Well, explain, Castle. Be ready to provide evidence from the court record to help prove the contradiction in their claims. I see. Oh, dear. When you successfully point out one of these contradictions among the jurors, you might just change their minds, too. Oh, dear. With a slam of their fist, each juror you persuade will send a fiery ball towards the scales above and literally tip the scales of justice in your favor. <laughs> Bring each contradiction to light and persuade the jury to help prove your client's innocence. Yeah! <laughs> Objection! My lord, with all due respect, this is an outrage! This has just been a small taste of the exciting new gameplay features in the Great Ace Attorney Chronicles. Awesome. We're very excited to get this game in the hands of both new fans and diehard fans alike. Thanks for watching. Awesome! It already seems like I have a bunch of games to catch up on. There are some yeah. exciting new adventures and titles to look forward to. Well, yep. that's yep. a look at the new premieres from Capcom, but what about esports? Let's close oh. out today's showcase with a few words from two of the stars of Capcom Fighters. Of course. Rob TV and Vicious. They'll tell us what's been going yeah. on with Capcom Esports, including updates on the Capcom Pro Tour, Intel World Open, Street Fighter League, and mm -hmm. all the other content on Capcom Fighters. Sweet. Over to you guys. Surprise us. Mm -hmm. What's going on, everybody, and welcome to the Capcom Esports presentation for E3 2021. Yeah. My name is Vicious, commentator for oh. the Capcom Pro Tour as well as Street Fighter League, here with competitive yep. Street Fighter V player and host extraordinaire, Hollywood, Rob TV. What's going on, Rob? Oh, oh my goodness, Vicious, host extraordinaire. That just sounds beautiful. It has a ring to it, and I think that's a perfect word yeah. to describe what we have for everyone today. Street Fighter V, Capcom, Sweet. E3, it just feels right, and you feel the uh, electricity yeah. in the air. <laughs> nice competition. Nice. What? That competition. was nasty. And there might be some people uh, out take them who out. don't really know what competitive Street Fighter Five is. Mm -hmm. The long and the short of it is this: we travel all around the world, yeah. state to state, country to country, awesome. and we try to bring our opponent's life bar from a hundred all the way down to zero and feel yep. pretty goddamn good doing it. That's right, Rob. If you think you're the best in your Join the tour. Sign up cool. Capcom uh, I hope you guys stay safe then. Possibly a world champion at Street Fighter Five. The double perfect. The way he looked at the camera. Yikes. Like, nice. Whatever expect another man's controller. So in this oh, year, CPT <laughs> overall, it's a series of tournaments that have $5,000 on the line for each Oh, nice. But that money alone, <laughs> that's not the big, that's not what's really at stake here. It's about making it to the granddaddy of them all. Oh. Capcom Cup. Oh, nice. Item just reset a <laughs> grand finals of what? Capcom Cup. So behind me, you can see in all of its glory, the yeah. Capcom Pro Tour 2021 mm. official stage is set. And what? That's sponsored by Red Bull? Like, can I see Red Bull? That's right. We take all of our events and broadcast <laughs> yeah. live. Okay, yeah, the there. I'm pretty sure that just means, yeah, that definitely means they're sponsored by Red Bull. It did. Nice. 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 So there's so many there's a kid too. Maybe you should I, I should join. Not I can't. I'm not I'm not really excited because again that is a big change uh, I'm not good at <laughs> buying games. That level of the, the head of side. The Capcom Pro Tour. Not oh, only can you catch the Capcom Pro Tour live itch. on the Capcom Fighters channel, oh. you can do so on a plethora of platforms. We have it on Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Of course, if you don't catch it live, you can also check out the VODs for all uh -huh. the competitive studying you would need to become a successful Street Fighter V player, as well as catching some of the community-focused content that we have on Capcom Fighters. We have No Neutral, the official pre-show of the Capcom Pro huh? Tour. We have sets where we take players from around the world Interesting. and play off in an exhibition first to ten. Not only that, actually, we do have mm. Street Fighter League that's happened season after season, non-stop action, six teams that's three, cool. it out in this battle tournament series to see who will walk <laughs> away with the championship and the $150,000 prize pool. Street Fighter League is something that you don't want to miss because normally we mm. only have 1v1 content. But now cool. you actually have your teammates at your back and every decision that you nice. make is not just about you anymore. Look for more news <laughs> that on Street Fighter League later this year. <laughs> the class. That's happen. funny. Uh. What's happening? It's so good. Nice. Let's not forget. The Intel World Opening is happening right now. Sweet. Those players representing 11 regions around the world 
are competing mm. for their place in the world finals happening next month. Be Sweet. sure to check out the official website for more information, <laughs> including current okay. standings. That's and very cool. To commemorate the team uniforms. Everyone who in during this period <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty interesting. That's actually and pretty funny. Dojo object. You do not want to miss this. I highly recommend mm. everyone to stay tuned for future Capcom Pro Tour updates mm. on the Capcom Fighters channel. And again, we've had so many events so far. We started off with the Japan region. We've mm -hmm. got a couple of more events going on uh -huh. afterwards, but the action does not stop. In fact, we're going to be continuing off with the Midwest Ooh. region for the Capcom mm. Pro Tour. I know you're definitely excited about that. A hundred percent. I mean, of course, your boy is from okay. Ohio. Make sure you guys tune in to see the tournament. You do not want to miss some of the best Street Fighter 5 players in the world compete head to head. Mm -hmm. Cool. So it's you. I dare you to find better Street Fighter. I dare you. This is a game yeah, highlights, I guess. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> nice. This is the ultimate Street Fighter V experience. This is Capcom Pro Tour. Nice. Cool. Thanks, guys. It's been a really exciting season so far, and I yep. can't wait to see how this plays out on the road to Capcom Cup. Mm. Remember to check out Capcom Fighters Twitch and YouTube channels for more information and to watch the latest matches. Uh, so that's yeah, a wrap not... for Capcom at E3 this year. We'll Let's see. recap what, what we all saw. Resident Evil Village yep. is back with the latest installment yep. of the survival horror experience okay. and RE-verse as part of the franchise's 25th yep. anniversary. We have new adventures to embark on in the world of Monster Let's Hunter. Recap. It's Monster Hunter uh, Stories 2, Wings of Ruins, everything. and Monster Hunter Rise. And don't forget to go back in time with the great Ace Attorney Chronicles to okay, tap into so, the family uh, history of Phoenix Wright and solve new cases. Finally, don't miss out on the esports fun. Make sure you catch the latest matches with Capcom Fighters. There really is something for everyone here today. But don't go anywhere yet. Uh, Join the conversation on Twitter and make sure you check out the okay, Capcom you, virtual booth on the no, e you can't be serious. Is that everything you guys say? And more. I'm Rachel Querico, aka Seltzer. Thank you for being part of the Capcom what? experience at E3 this year. What? Is that... What? Is that it? No. Come on. You gotta be kidding me. Is this everything you guys got? As far as I know, I don't know... Didn't know much about the Ace Attorney game, and I think I heard about it, but everything else, it just seems... This doesn't feel like anything revealing. Just the only major thing is the Capcom Tour. Oh man, no. You gotta be kidding me. This can't be it. It's... Oh, um. Well, this is a. Let's see. Is that it? That's everything? Wow. Um. I, uh, oh gosh, I, oh, I'm not sure how I feel about this. This is honestly, I mean, don't get me wrong. This is, there, some of the stuff they showed is great, but just showing updates towards your games and very little on some of your new ones. This is not a good showcase. This is not a good one. I'm sorry, Capcom, but this is not how you do a E3 showcase. If this is all you got to show. Sure, you got updates. You have one actual game, one game that actually has that's kind of new. But these are mostly roughly the ones that you mostly know. This is just updating what we updating. What to sh what to show? That's it. But without any actual new reveals, this is no su no surprise, no new games announced, nothing. This is honestly a very disappointing showcase. I am very 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 not happy with this.
I, eesh, I, oh, man. I'm pretty sure Maximilian Dude is probably disappointed as well, because this is not a lot going on here. Ooh, no new games, no new fighting games, no new, no DLC for your existing fighting games, no actual new ones, no Mega Man. Ouch, I'm, this is not, I'm sorry, but this, I, I'm sorry for rambling for so long, but this is not how, this is a, probably the worst showcase I've seen in, in this year's E3. This is very little. Uh, Ubisoft, it it was okay. Some pretty good reveals, not a lot. Microsoft so is doing okay. Microsoft is was well, not bad either. Not bad. They actually had some titles that actually convinced me that I should probably get an Xbox Series X. That's actually a plus. Uh, Square Enix. I even though I said about how I thought about it yesterday. Uh, my thoughts about it now is just a bit, it's just dropped. It's uh, like six to five, five to six. It's that, and Capcom really just, just dropped the ball. There was so many kind of dropping out. I'm just Dropped out this year. I don't know. I don't know about the other ones. I didn't react to the other ones, so maybe they, the other the, the other showcases are had some actual cool reveals. But other than that, this is a very disappointing turn up. So let's recap. Ubisoft they had some okay reveals with the high major highlight being rabbits, Mario Plus rabbits. Xbox had some pretty had some cool stuff. Not not a lot that I would be interested in, but there are some titles that actually are convincing me that I should probably consider getting an Xbox Series X. Uh, Square, uh, no, Capcom, nope. If you see, if I could show you what hand gesture I'm showing, it's a thumbs down. It's not looking good. And I'm probably on the mind, probably on a, uh, on the same boat as a lot, of, a lot of people probably on the same thought as me that right now the only way that E3 will be saved is through Nintendo Direct. Ugh, this is a pretty disappointing showcase here. I'm sorry. So, so yeah, uh, remember, like, subscribe, give us a Give us a like, give a like and subscribe. Uh, comment down below and tell me about your thoughts. We got one more tomorrow, and let's hope Nintendo pulls through. Because yikes, uh, we're definitely not. This E three is not very good so far. Not exactly. I only have seen some couple of good ones, but. Rest has been pretty. Oof. Let's see. Oof.